One month after the results of KCP were announced, it was a turn for the KCSE students to harvest what they planted for the four years they were in high school. Thank you, P.S. While announcing the results, Education CS Ezekiel Mashogu noted that there was a good performance from male students who beat their female counterparts. 2022 KCSE examination, 17 subjects recorded a significant improvement in performance compared with 11 subjects that recorded a significant improvement in performance in 2021. Those who scored A grade were 4,000. 445 male students with 1,962 being girls. A, female, we have 271 getting an A. Male, we have 875. Those who scored a B plus were 9,578 boys and 6,104 girls. C plus, we have 33,138 female, while male, we have 36,950. 13,520 girls scored a B plane, while 17,186 boys posted the same grade. 27,183 boys and 21,474 girls scored a B minus grade. We have 79,935 female, 75,000. 545 male, D minus, we have female 84,075, male 83,683. Overall boys performed better than girls. However, more than 30,000 students got a grade E, but the government says all those who start for the exam will get a chance to further their education. More significantly, all the candidates, remaining candidates, are eligible to join TVET in institutions, teacher training colleges, medical training colleges, and other tertiary running institutions for various courses. The fact that ranking is no more has actually saved our teachers, saved our learners, the candidates, and of course, the entire system. National Examination Council says that the process of exam registration for 2023 will kick off on 1st February, up to that 1st March 2023. Unfortunately, sometimes we are told a week before the exam that there are some candidates in a certain corner of this country who are not registered. That makes it very difficult. Dan Kaburu, K24, Nairobi.